Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today I definitely have something obscure for you. I have from Happy Games Factory's Eden Post-Apocalyptic Gang, game, not gang, but we do have a gang, the Sagarians, and they come from the city of Sagar, if I'm saying that correctly, and Eden primarily is a post-apocalyptic game that takes place in what's left of Europe, and actually, the Sagarians come to us from India, so... They are coming across the ocean, and they're bringing their amphibious friends with them. So in this set, we have the Xanthoid Carnassier Pramath Kumar, the Xanthoid Fuisur, I don't know, I can't speak French, and then we have Akshan, who has a bit of a, oh, what were those dudes in, I forget their name, Bioshock, the Big Daddies. I have a big daddy thing going on here. So, what made this limited was it was a part of their yearly December Kickstarter. And I gotta say, I actually got this before Christmas the year that they released it, maybe 17 or 18. I don't even remember now. But, um, yeah, I've been sitting on it a while and meaning to show it off. Anyways, this set was resin, whereas most of their other sets are actually in metal, and they don't usually have the sleeves included, but that was a nice little Kickstarter bonus. We have the actual cards right here with the very nice illustrations. There was a rule book that I pulled out, and I don't know where I put it now, so we'll skip that part, but that is a nice thing. If you ever buy any of these Eden boxed starter sets from Happy Games, like it shows right here. They always have the rules included. I want to say they're on their website as well, so if you can't find them there, we're going to show the models off in just a moment. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about the box itself. I know I've mentioned this before uh, when I did my Resistance unboxing a million years ago. They actually have all the counters that you need to play right there on the cardboard, so after you're finished building it, you can tear the box to shreds and you have all the markers you need to play. So that's a little blurb about that. Let's take a look at the actual models that are included. So this must be our big Akshan. That was his name, if I remember correctly, right? Right? Yes. Let's clear some space here. So we can take a closer look. And hopefully not get all the parts mixed up. Alright. So Akshan is a pretty big model. Cast looks pretty decent. Details are easily discernible there. A little bit of flash we'll have to clean up. That's okay. Connection points are nice and obvious. A very big oxygen tank. Bolted together. Looks like barnacles in between everything. So I want to say that these guys, if I remember the fluff correctly, were actually supposed to be underwater. And they were like coming back from the depths. Because I know they have a starter set that has a bunch of octopi that you can use as well, which I thought was kind of fun. And sooner or later, I am going to get that set, I am sure. There's Saber there. He's got his Qatar punch dagger thing here. You can see he's got all kinds of valves and wires attached to his arms. I'm going to have some fun cleaning all that off. Oh, boy. If there's one thing I love, it's having to glue and put resin wires onto models. So hopefully this doesn't require too much work there. Got Akshan's head, if I can figure out. There we go. That way. And finally, another... Oh, crap. <laughs> it just broke on me. Another wire that I'm going to have to figure out where that goes. Okay, well... We'll deal with that. That is one of the pitfalls of working with very delicate resins. And we'll just roll with the punches there. Next up, who is this dude? Is this Kumar? No, this is Pramath. And, oh boy, okay. Pramath himself looks pretty nice, but that's an issue when his blade comes broken. Oh well. And, oh, maybe that's his sword? Does this go together? And where's the rest of his... I'm mumbling to myself. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. This looks like a sword. Okay, now I get it. The hilt goes there. The blade's going to attach somewhere down here. We'll figure that out. I don't know if it was broken in transit or if it's just made to be glued on. We'll find out. That's not too complicated. And another bit of broken tubing. Yay. 
Okay, this is Kumar, who does not have a Herald to hang out with, but... All right. I don't think I've ever painted East Asian skin tones before, so this is going to be a fun challenge for me, just to make it look vaguely appropriate. Get that all cleaned up. And I'm going to take a wild guess that that was supposed to stay attached, but we'll have to fix that. Otherwise, actually, he looks pretty decent. Doesn't look too complicated. You can see his breather mask there. Does he have any oxygen tanks? He does. Okay. They all have oxygen tanks. So finally, this should be the bag with the little fishy dudes. And you can see here, for the most part, they are one piece. They look biomechanical. I don't know if they're supposed to be alive or if they are just machines. He looks a little bit more fleshy. Make some fun little deep ones, I guess. And then the only other thing that needs to be attached is he's got his right arm here. So, doesn't look too complicated other than attempting to play with these broken tubes and wires. And maybe I'll just leave them off completely. I don't know. But otherwise, I don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle to put them together. And i got to say, all of the Eden figures that I've painted, I have really enjoyed. So I am looking forward to seeing what the final results will look like. And hopefully you will too as soon as I get these guys put together. All right, we got our Sagarians all built up here. We're going to start off with the Xanthoids. We have the carnivorous one, since I'm not going to try to butcher my way through the French pronunciation. He's got the teeth. And the burrowing Xanthoid, who obviously looks like he's going to be digging his way off the base. So looking more carefully at the artwork, they actually are supposed to have a organic core, and then they've got like all the metallic parts on top of that. So I'll have to keep that in mind when we get them painted. If you're curious how big they are, well, they're about like, oh, not warrior size for the Tyranids. What are the little dudes? Hormagons or Termagons, right? Probably about their size. You can wait over there. And then we have the actual people in the warband. We have Pramoth here. And I really like how he turned out. Uh, the detail in the resin is quite clear. And despite having a few hiccups with getting the parts attached, I think everything seems to have found a nice home on the figure itself. Next up, we've got Kumar, who is quite a tall model. And I accidentally clipped off his foot when trying to get that slaughter in the base. But despite that, we got it fixed up. And overall, just really impressive detailing and having to trim all that was a lot of fun. And I actually mean that like legit. It was fun. I enjoy that. I'm weird. And despite having his staff come to me broken, it seems to have attached okay. Again, detail, quite nice. It'll be fun to paint him up. These, as I said, being the only resins that I've ever experienced with Eden, quite impressed. And usually they're in metal. And then we have Akshan here, who is quite the big dude. And despite me having his pipes broken, I did try to figure out a way that made them work. And they actually did end up attaching all right in the end. I like him. And like I said earlier, definitely gives me a big daddy vibe with all the tanks and the diving equipment. So anyway, as I've mentioned before, Eden tends to be closer to 32 millimeter scale than anything else. So grabbing our Marine again here, just to give you a good sense of scale. Both Akshan and Kumar and Pramoth here are quite a bit taller. Now, Kumar is a big dude. Grabbing a Primaris model, you can definitely see he's still a good head taller. So I think these would be kind of fun models to use for Chaos Cultists. If you were going to go stick them into a 40k game, would work great in Necromunda, especially if they're in a interesting part of the hive where they're getting fed all kinds of weird stuff that's playing around with their genetic code. Grabbing a couple other post-apocalyptic models. One of the nice things that does need to be mentioned with Eden is these starter sets, you really do have all you need right here just to get started. And as I go off on another side tangent here, I'm going to grab a Dark Age and Fallout model. You can see more of the Warband in scale there. Grabbing our Brotherhood powered armor. Closer in size to Akshan, but still he's a lot bulkier. Elijah here from Dark Age seems like he'd scale pretty well. Of course, I do have a pretty built-up base because this is one of those silly deep dish ones that Cool Mini was using for some time. And sadly, my Brotherhood Warrior, I forget what his official title is, Paladin? Frontline Paladin? I don't remember. He does seem a lot closer to typical 28 millimeter scale, so he is a bit outclassed in terms of size with those guys right there. 
Now, what else was I going to mention? I was going to drag something else out here, but I forgot. So, anyway. Oh, as I was saying about the game being very self-contained. So as I slide everything out of the way here for a sec, just going through the card deck. So you have your stat cards for everybody, your special rules, and all kinds of upgrades, which actually have artwork on them, which is kind of nice. But then I want to say there were mission cards in here as well. Yeah. So each starter actually has their own special missions and things that you can have those characters do. So, you know, if both you and an opponent have your own starter sets, and I know there are sets of extra mission and objective cards, so that is another thing you can look into. And I want to say there's more in the actual rulebook as well and some of the other expansions they made if you wanted to give it a try. One of these days, I've got just about enough painted models that I can give this game officially a spin. And it is always nice to see something besides the usual, typical European white guys on the table. So definitely cool beans there or the typical Asian stuff. We have something different, which is always, always appreciated. With that said, I don't know how easy these are going to be to get your grubby paws on, if you're interested, because I checked the website just before I filmed this, and it doesn't seem like they're available anymore. In fact, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot available, period. Uh, they might be on the secondary market, and if you're in a French-speaking region, you might be able to get them more easily there. I don't know. I know there's still some floating around in distribution, and I know places like Noble Knight have picked up quite a bit of the Happy Games versions of Eden. So there is stuff out there. Do keep your eyes peeled if you're interested. I have a couple more Eden starters that hopefully we will get to see in the future, including the Clan Bamako, which should be an interesting one, especially if I'm going to paint them and not end up looking like an out-and-out -out <laughs> insensitive person, but that's a whole different story. Anyway, keep your eyes peeled if you're interested. I want to say that there was going to be a metal release at some point or another. I'm not sure if that happened. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled on that as well. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you all back here soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.